In this video, we're going to talk about Jonyeon 9P. He is a Korean legend player. He became uh, 70 years old now. He used to be a politician in South Korea. He became a professional player in 1962 in South Korea. But at the time, Bado wasn't that famous in South Korea. So he went to Japan and then he got a new license in 1966. Jong was really famous for his photo style. He's taking big places always in advance than openings. His style is really quick hangma and then he was really famous for his fighting skill because he was really strong at the fighting. Jong Yun 9P has a lot of triumph in his prime. He had 160 titles which is the top record in South Korea and he has record for most wins. Most importantly, he won the Ink Cup in 1989 by Neo AP9P. Neo Yiping is also Chinese legend player and then by win this game, Korean goal reputation has rise a lot. The picture we are looking at is the last game, the Ink Cup. That was best of 5 and then the score was 2-2 and Jonyeon 9P won this game and he became a champion of the cup. He is also famous for a teacher of Lee chang -ho. When Lee chang was young, he went to Jonyeon 9P's house and became a disciple. And it's kind of ironic but Lee chang 9P break his prime as well. From now on, we're gonna look at two games, which shows Jonyeon 9P's playing style. This game Jonyeon 9P is white, and then the opponent was a Japanese legend player, Kobayashi Shitoru. In this game, we can clearly see that Jonyeon 9P's playing style, which is taking territory first, and then give away influence to the opponents. And when it comes to Big Moyo, the opponent's mate, and then he went into the shape and then break up. That was pretty much Jong Yun 9P's style. Even in the first Jung Seok choice, Jong Yun 9P take the ter ter territories and then give away the influence to the opponents. This hangma is really important to learn rather than just answer to here and make black to jump out. Why can't push the center once and then take the corner really naturally and even solidify it. Solidify it. And black played big places here and secure this point. And as we can see that white is taking the ter territories really fast, which is Jonyeon 9P was famous for. Even though it's just opening game, already Jonyeon 9P's territory is more than black. Black tried to break up the shape. This was the good sequence. Disconnect. And then making the call here is almost impossible because there is this key point to both sides. This is too risky for black. So when black has to secure, white can take here. And black press to the center. Jonyeon 9P make a living. This is essential. It is really eager to, I mean, we really want to play these points for sure, but this is not a timing because there's this move hiding, hidden. So Jonyeon 9P choose this move and black takes here and then make a living. And black block here to disconnect the white shape. So basically, when black try to attack with the disconnection, usual players think to invest one more stone to the center, the big dragons, because it's not alive yet. But Jonyeon 9 pit choose to play the big place, such as here. And now that white took a lot of big places, black has to make good attack for the whites. Try to attack, but there was a hidden sequence for white, which is this one. With this sequence, white shape is completely alive, and now only hope for black is 
to attack the right side. But even though this shape, by this sequence, whites make a pretty much good living. The sequence happening more and more after it, but ended up with Jumunya Knight is winning. So let's look at the second game together. This game is Jumunya 9P was black, and also in this game we can see Jumunya 9P's style. Because the opponents know that Jumunya 9P like the territories, so opponents try to play the 3-3 three, three points, but, which means taking territories. But Jumunya 9P prepared um, opening here. By play here, and then cap to this point, and white tried to come out, just blocking to the corner. As we can see, black already make a big shape in the right hand side. This is good exchange for white. And already, it has been played 24 moves here, and black already got a solid shape. But I will say this is even, but really Jonya 9 piece style. I take the 3-3 three, three points. This was good choice for black. And there we can see really interesting move here. Now going down for white is not good because by just extend, black can literally use it here. Black can send it A or play to A to here and then make more usage in this point, which is white doesn't want. So and white shape is quite strong in the side, so white disconnect. And the next move by Jonya 9P was really interesting. He played this point and Y extend and push away and make a really strong fight. Finally make a living and capture I mean kept. I won't say that it's good for black, but it is really really his style. It looks difficult to make a living in this point. But for Jonya 9P, it doesn't matter. Blocking this point, and if white make A's exchange, A, B's exchange, later on there's a C, so basically white cannot make exchange. That's why white just kept in here and then black take the important points for I shape and make a living like this. So far, we can tell that black take the I mean, territories and then white get the influence. And white try to make fight by its influence, and Jonya 9P play here and attaching Hane to this point. We can tell the fight is beginning. It was really, really Jonya 9P's style, and then this was this was how Jonya 9P make winning in his prime. If you guys liked this video, please press like button and also subscribe button please and then i'll see you guys in the next video